Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop, and I'm in Walnut Creek at the ballet school, and I'm with Carmen, and I'm gonna break down a couple things for you. Today, we're gonna to be specifically looking for how to get over on top of your box. So if you're having trouble getting all the way over onto your point shoes, if your feet are a little bit less flexible, then that's what we're gonna be working on today. So Carmen, this is her first pair of point shoes, and we're gonna see what this looks like. She's currently in a pretty hard shoe right now. You can see that she's wearing it out at the bottom Bottom of her point shoes rather than the entire shoe so that's one of the indications to determine what her next shoe is going to be so Carmen go ahead and stand up for me I want you to bring your left foot up on point and then press up on both feet so it actually looks pretty good but from this angle what I'm seeing is that because the shoe is fairly hard um, she is Tilt it back a little bit. She's sickling a tiny bit. She's fighting the shoe and she's not completely all the way over onto her point shoes. So when I push her over, she has a slight tendency to bend her knee. Can you straighten that? Yes, so we wanna make sure that we have a shoe, especially towards the beginning of your point career, that we have something that's a little bit softer so that she can work through her point shoes. And also she's getting all the way on top of her box so that she's not straining her Achilles and she's not, um, she's not fighting with her point shoes. I think this is a pretty great shoe for her to come back to later on, um, but I want to work on something to make sure that she's getting over. Releve. And then one other thing that I noticed with her shoes is that she's almost having a little bit of an ice cream cone effect. What that means is that if the shoe is a little bit too narrow or too tapered, your foot can spill out of your shoes, so it makes you sickle a tiny bit and your point shoes twist out off of your heel. So that's something that we want to keep in mind as well when we're doing the point shoe fitting so that she is nice and well aligned. Okay, so go ahead and take your point shoes off for me. Go ahead and take those off and let me just take a look at your, your foot. So I think the shoe is just too hard for her at this point in her career, um, but as soon as she gets stronger, she can always go back to that. I just want to make sure that she's properly working through her point shoes so that she is actually getting stronger rather than just being propped up in a very hard shoe. Okay, so I'm going to try the shoe out first. So I'm going to go to a slightly wider shoe so it doesn't bother your, the sides of your foot anymore. First position, demi plie, straighten, bring your left foot up on point, very good, and press it all the way up, hope that heel slips off, but okay, so there was a slight bit of t twisting in her point shoes before because the shoes were slightly too narrow for her, but there's absolutely no twisting anymore. If I'm looking at her foot from this angle, she is not sickling anymore either. So you can tell that she's now completely over onto your point shoes. I did go to a wider point shoe so that she's not spilling out of her point shoes anymore. And I went to a slightly softer shank with a softer metatarsal so that she is able to comfortably get over without having to bend her shoes. Come back down for me. And then I want you to go into parallel and then step up onto point. I know that little drawstring is sticking out there but that's okay because it's just the fitting um, and now she's a lot straighter these look pretty good and she's completely over on top of her platform so that was the thing that i was most concerned about to make sure that she is um, properly working through her point work and strengthening her feet so when you're first starting out in point shoes you want to make sure that you are having a shoe that's soft enough and that you're getting over all the way so that you learn where to balance so that you know how to align your foot and your ankles and your knees so you don't learn to balance back into your point shoes and you're straight up and down. 